Hello everybody, this time I have a question from Valdas and Valdas asks Can you do a video about how to spot a lie? It would be interesting also to hear about things like liar body language Thank you Valdas for the question Before I give you an answer, allow me please to ask you one question Are you really ready for it? Are you really ready for knowing the truth? Are you really ready to hold all the pain that comes with that? Because it can you can be facing social resistance and social rejection. That's why many of us prefer to stay in the dark. Now, are you ready for such lifestyle? In case that you feel ready to access this kind of ability, please watch carefully to the end because spotting a lie depends only on our abilities to observe and to process what we see, not on any shortcuts of tips and tricks or conceptual body language. To all the viewers who are new to the channel, I'm going to use some terms that I used in the past. So if you don't understand what I'm talking about, please go back to the previous videos and maybe you'll understand a little bit more. In general, it's important to watch them because we need to be aware of what keeps us from knowing the truth. And also to see the traits of the human character, those traits that make every one of us a potential liar. Second, when we face a situation where we need to detect or to spot a lie, we need to ask ourselves first, am I really interested in knowing the truth, in knowing what reality is, or I wish the reality to be in a certain way? It sounds obvious, but it's totally not for granted. Many of us make our conclusions based on what we wish, even before facing the situation. Every story can be a lie, but some of us decide to buy into a story because they may be biased. Some decide to buy into a story because of financial interest, or a national background, or racism, etc. So we need to know exactly the real motives behind the intentions. Because when we acknowledge the relevance of the story, and we declare that the only purpose that are relevant to us is the truth, only then we can move on. Third, prejudices and ignorance. I need to ask myself, Am I expecting the result to be in a certain way or I acknowledge my ignorance of the situation and from there I'm ready to learn? Many of us make conclusions based on their distorted perception that was programmed years before. Of course, programmed by their families and TV and films and religions. I talked about this in the past. And unfortunately, some of those are not only deluded, but also very arrogant. And this arrogance makes it not only more difficult to spot a lie, but also the arrogant becomes like the naked emperor, thinking that no one is seeing his lies while everybody is seeing them. So he gets aggressive towards those who dare to spot his lies or her lies. This, of course, makes many people around him live in denial just to avoid the emperor's aggression and confrontation. It is important to mention that some of those arrogant and deluded become what they are as a result of being too privileged. Whether it's personally or socially or politically or financially. When I say privileged or too privileged, I mean by that being privileged without deserving it. Being privileged only as a result of living in a corrupt system like nepotism or like being a spoiled child in a narcissistic family. Now, if someone is benefiting from a corrupt system, it would be unnecessary for him to know or to demand the truth. On the contrary, he or she has to protect the corrupt system that is benefiting them. That's why they wouldn't want to know the truth, because balance would disadvantage them. And they may even police that who speaks the truth in order to protect their corrupt systems. On the other hand, only the creative minds who create and demand functional systems want the truth and insist to pursue it, and therefore they are the only ones who can spot it and who can spot lies. And also by acknowledging one's ignorance, we can open the gates of knowledge because people are different and they may think or may act in ways that are totally outside one's world of conception. And I have to be ready for that, that the truth may be outside my world of conception, outside what is familiar to me. Four, 
since I spoke in the past about questioning everything and everyone because everybody is a potential liar and everybody has a history of lying including holy mommy and holy daddy and the prime minister and the president so we have to be courageous and to question people's credibility spotting lies can trigger conflict we have to take this into account and compromising the truth because of lack of courage that would weaken our abilities to see the truth so we have to declare that we would gladly face a conflict in the name of the truth five body language i know that many of us love police tv series and action films and many of us believe that they are actual sources of knowledge but it's very important to remember that those are not only far from being sources of knowledge but also they are misleading sources that distort our perception and weaken our direct contact with reality because of those mediums and because they're supported by some toxic psychology and supported by a certain agenda behind the art many of us today really believe that a certain body language can indicate to a liar that many prisoners were tortured to death because their body language didn't match the interrogator's expectations life is not a hollywood film and people are much more complicated than any bunch of concepts and this concept that we're holding to that a body language can help us spot a lie that will do exactly the opposite because we have already created the expectation and the prejudice we have to know that people have different fears and life experiences and all those made everyone a fingerprint of his character that functions and operates in ways that many times we can't rationalize or even conceive and to be able to spot a lie one has to be very creative with unique abilities of paradoxical thinking looking for shortcuts and tips is exactly the indication to a person who's not in that state of being where he or she can spot a lie or see the truth and unfortunately since most of our systems are run by bureaucrats who don't have the ability to think outside the box that's why corporate psychology had to create concepts for those bureaucrats to follow without needing to think much or to take too much responsibility but the language spotting a lie that's a myth when you see in a film a CIA bureaucrat interrogating a citizen and whispers in a dramatic voice in the ear of his pretty partner he's lying because he moved his eye this mindset created a generation of bureaucrats who torture prisoners to death because they can never spot lies after being filled with so many invalid concepts of body language and vocal quality and many other concepts like that so the only thing to learn from me about spotting a lie using body language is not to use a body language it's not to rely on the body language and to unlearn everything about that field i spoke more about this in the video that i made before about thinking patterns we need to treat each incident as a unique situation we need to let go totally from the concept of body language and to focus on our own abilities to perceive the complex reality without distortion seeing the small details of reality and the whole each situation is unique that needs to be treated separately that doesn't mean that it's not a part of a bigger picture just like any effect there's a series of causes and effects that led to the actual situation so the ability to see the parts and the whole is the skill to develop for many of us that's a mission impossible many of us would die without finding the truth because knowing the truth can make us pay a heavy price of social isolation and loneliness and many other kinds of social and financial challenges and those who see the truth but didn't learn to let go of controlling it that can also cost them a health price now even when we know the truth but we don't have the physical evidence we have to maintain a certain standard of humility just in case that we made a mistake because mistakes and being unfair those can only weaken our skills even when our abilities are strong we should never rely on them totally 
but to let them only give us a sense of direction and orientation. And for that to happen, we have to be aware of the thousands and millions of potential scripts that I can't present in books or in videos. And the most important is, no matter how sure we are, unless we witness the truth with our own eyes, we never take a side. We must acknowledge our ignorance and stay open-minded for the truth to come from the most unexpected place. Spotting lies and accessing the truth are skills that are constantly growing or degenerating. Those skills are not separated from the holistic aspect. Many times when people ask me to help them with some private issue, they expect for me to give them one tip that they can impress others with or one key that they can solve all their problems with. But the moment they realize that there's a lot of genuine work to do on themselves, that moment they give up. The truth is one of the things that don't tolerate shortcuts. Either we are born into it or we go the whole way for it. Otherwise, we keep living in the illusion and in the distorted perception. If you'd like to know more about those skills, you can watch the videos that I made before about the sixth sense, about mindset programming, thinking patterns, and the code of the human conduct, and many others. I hope I could shed some light on this. I'm Shredi Jabarin. Thank you so much for watching.